hasn't been dealt with at all. That was Cregan and it was Yakala who made the save. And it goes to safety. And Anzi Yakala managed to get this away somehow. It took a couple of touches on its way through. One off the goalkeeper. Kelly with just the two wins this season. They haven't won away from home yet. It's great interchange again. Out in the wide area, Jennings. Back it came. And now it's Chris Humphrey. Humphrey! Well, this save's even better from Yakala because it's deflected on its way through to him. Just like the Cregan effort earlier. This is taking a nick off McKeown. Great save. Yaka looking more confident than he did against Celtic last week. Hately. Higdon. Well, that's strong. But not on target. Higdon had options. He had Tom Hately moving into a good position. He decided to go himself. Kenny Shields looking for his first away win as Kilmarnock boss is taking over in March. Hately. What a great delivery. Well, Yakala clawed at this underneath his crossbar. Cregan with the rebound into the roof of the net. Mother will have had by far and away the better chances in this game. Kilmarnock struggling to get going in the final third. But this is a man who knows the final third very well. Heffernan to Harkins. And still, Heffernan, well the woodwork keeps Kilmarnock at bay and they've been on the rack for most of the first half. Heffernan normally the finisher teeing it up for Harkins and they're developing a good understanding those two. Harkins a midfielder by trade but playing up there with Heffernan. Motherwell sitting pretty. In second place, Nikolai Stilbank Premier League looking to stay there by the end of the weekend. Shields. Pascali. It was pushing. And climbing. And Craig Thompson immediately blew his whistle. And Pascali rose, climbing on two Motherwell players. And it doesn't count. Jennings. Oh, he's going to get this back, the Scouser. Higdon! And twice, Anzi Yakala, the hero once more for Kilmarnock. Humphrey. Well, try to keep it alive. He couldn't. But Yakala very much alive this week. First from Jennings, then from Higdon. Great double save. Adding to those in the first half. Lasley. Hately. Well, Humphrey was out there. It's Hately himself. The Yakala delighted to see this fly beyond his post. Tom Hately's always a threat from the edge of the area. I would hate to suggest that there was any inconsistency among Scottish referees, but when you look at uh, the Manuel Pascali header which went in, which was chalked off for climbing up on Stephen Cregan, mm -hmm. was this so much different from the one we saw earlier from Sean O'Hanlon? No, I think that was a very good decision, that one, because uh, the referee, Craig Thompson, blew right away before. I think he had actually blown his whistle and pointed before the ball was headed into the net. He saw. You know, it was like a line out in rugby, and that, that, I don't see much difference between the two. No. In fact, very little difference. Bobby so. Madden was the referee at Paisley, uh, Craig Thompson was the referee. Well, I'm not criticising, I don't like to criticise a referee, but you're asking me about inconsistency, and I felt in our game, with the celebration, there was an inconsistency in refereeing. There was an inconsistency there because different referees, of course, but clearly a very, very similar incident. How come you never got Motherwell to second in the league? <laughs> no, a great credit to Stuart McCall. He's done a marvellous job at Motherwell. No doubt about that. He's, you know, he's got the place buzzing. 
I've spoken with the players, they're all, well not all, but many are still in touch. And they're full of praise for Stuart and so am I because I think he's done a tremendous job. You laid the foundations there, didn't you? No, I'm not taking, <laughs> no, we're not taking any credit for that because, you know, you've got to come and he took over and he's done very, very well this season. You know, he held them, got them a cup final last season. You cannot say anything other than Stuart McCall and Kenny Black have done a marvellous job there at Mullerwell. And it's almost the identical squad, isn't it? I mean, he's brought in Nicky Law in the midfield. Yeah. He swapped John, H John Sutton for, Sutton for, for Michael Higdon. Higdon. Yes. Well, he's made a couple of changes, that's all. But, you know, it's the same team. You, know, you could say the team could play itself, but it needs direction, it needs management. And I do see changes in what he's done. And there have been changes, I think, for the better. Because Motherwell, well, they're second in the league. That uh, tells its own story. And I think they'll be there or thereabouts towards you, you the think, end of the You season. think they could stay at the top end yeah, of the league? Yeah, I always feel the old firm will be first and second. Now, I'm not trying to be a pessimist here. And uh, that will annoy maybe Hearts and annoy the potential that we see at Motherwell at the moment. But Motherwell's problem will be if they lose players through injury or suspension because the bench, have very they've got very talented players there but they're young and inexperienced and they haven't got a lot of depth of quality to call upon. Now they're smashing boys there and great boys for the future but we know to our cost, the boy Hugh McHugh came on you know, and uh, scored against us. <laughs> yeah. and he's, he's on the bench and they've got Jonathan Page, you know they've got and, and of course Stephen Saunders, very unluckily a long term injury. Uh, big Hutchison's on the bench too so Mother will have got three or four but they're all young as long as they stay clear of suspension and injury they'll be competing at the very top of that SPL Yeah well this uh, Clydesdale Bank Premier League table is looking very good if you're a Motherwell fan at the moment although Rangers have stretched their advantage at the top nine clear at the moment 32 to 23 Celtic 10 adrift St Johnson have nipped about